You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, new breakthroughs in the treatment of gum disease. And uh, my first guest wants to wipe it out in San Diego, Dr. Mm-hmm. Ann Kenya. Dr. Kenya, welcome yes. to the program. Thank you. Thank and we you should mention, you are the appropriate person to have on the show about this. You are a board certified periodontist. I am. And uh, we've been trying to get you on the show for, I think, five years. Long time. And, and I jokingly say with you that you've been threatening to do my show for about <laughs> five years. So thanks for coming. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for coming to the show. Mm-hmm. So for people that uh, don't know uh, about gum disease or periodontal disease, what are the symptoms? The symptoms of gum disease could be um, bleeding gums, bleeding when you're brushing or flossing. A little bit of blood's okay? No. no really? No. So if you're no. bleeding when you floss, what, yes. what is going There's on? There's inflammation occurring, and that's not okay. It's so you have like what? An infection? You do. You would have an infection. And there are different stages of that. But um, bleeding, swelling could also occur. And that usually comes and goes. So people may think, well, it's better now. It's, I've, it's gone away. But it hasn't gone away. Uh, like you, what? Puffy red gums? Right. Puffy red gums, swelling, maybe a bad taste. Bad breath could be a, a sign of periodontal disease. And eventually loose teeth. That could happen where teeth start to move. That's late, so we don't want to wait till then. We want to get you in earlier than that. Okay, and, and we're talking about laser dentistry today. You know, we said new breakthroughs, yes. because I guess the old style was to cut it out in certain cases. Right. And you actually killed the we infection with a laser. We have an alternative, yes. Okay. Yes. Now, for people that don't know your role as a periodontist, yes. like what's your typical day like? Like who's your typical patient? Well, I have a range of patients, um, different ages, and I do treat periodontal disease, and I do some other things too, as you know. We might place implants or do gum grafts, but treating periodontal patients, usually they're adults, uh, really becomes very common as you uh, approach 40 and, and beyond. It, it's the most common cause of tooth loss. So gum disease, periodontal disease, same thing? Yes, um, gum disease is kind of a generic term, and there are different forms of that. Gingivitis is uh, the least invasive. That's usually swelling of the gums. But as you develop the infection into the bone and ligament, that's periodontal disease, and we have different stages of periodontal disease as well. Okay, and you could wipe it out? Yes, we can. Most of the time. Well, when you say that, I have to tell you, uh, (laughs) we can manage this disease well. Um, Like you would think of diabetes or hypertension, uh, we can manage those diseases. So periodontal disease is a manageable disease, and okay. the nap is a great alternative. Now you love this in the green room. Yes. You said I love this. I do. Why? Why do you love it? I Respectfully, l- I say why. Yes. Well, I l- I love helping people, and uh, I think I've been practicing 21 years, and I've done everything that we could do over these many years. But I found many patients I wanted to treat wouldn't accept treatment. So with Lanap... So when you say Lanap, that's the laser you use to kill the gum disease. Right. It's a protocol. It involves a particular laser, the Periolase, and a, a FDA-approved protocol that you follow. And I do get excited about it because I can help people. They can um, manage this disease. I mean, you say you're changing people's lives, you told me. Yes, I can think of somebody in particular. She came in, she was actually very frustrated because she had had surgery, conventional surgery, a couple of times over the years, and and they were telling her she needed it again. So she sought me out, and we did the LANAP protocol, and she... LANAP is the laser. I want to make sure we're talking about it. LANAP is a protocol using the laser. To kill the gum disease. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, it is. And she then, in uh, as we go through the treatment and the post-ops, She just looked different. She looked happier. She was smiling where she had avoided smiling before because she felt she had she didn't have confidence in her smile. Now she's healthier. She's actually starting to exercise. She's eating healthier because she can eat healthier food, natural raw vegetables and fruit. And she lost weight. She's dating. She's just on fire. She's <laughs> she, <laughs> okay. She's so, and I just love being part of that process, and I and I get to do that every day. Who gives? How do you get your patients? I mean, most general dentists send you patients. Well, traditionally, that's the way periodontists would get patients: a referral from another dentist. And half of my patients come from other dentists, and half of them find me because like Google. Yeah. Because of the laser. Yeah, they find me. They just they don't like what they've been told. Uh, by the doctors they've been seeing, and they're looking for an alternative, and they find me, and they 
come in and we can help them. And then I can educate their dentist about what we can do. I mean, do you're one of the only people in San Diego County with, with this LANAP protocol. I'm the, I'm we've the, tried to look for them. Yeah, I'm the first board certified periodontist. I've been doing it since 2009. Is so that, yeah, you know, I have I have uh, you know some cases that have lasted you know a number of years. Let's briefly talk about your yeah. background training. I guess you did your residency at Harvard. Yes. And and you knew you wanted to be a dentist almost in third grade. Yeah. <laughs> How does that happen, by the way? Well, uh, I didn't think I want. I didn't know I'd be a dentist right away because that seemed really lofty to me. But uh, I became interested in the mouth and oral health. But in and, third grade. Yeah, I had a hygienist come to our class and talk about brushing your teeth and. I just, I don't know, something struck. I know that's weird, but that's good. There are people good. like me that like this stuff. So you just lo always love teeth and things like yes, that? Yes, and I always notice smiles. I notice when people don't smile. And a lot of times they don't smile because of gum disease. Didn't you also go in and get your doctorate? I did. I have a couple. Oh, is that right? In <laughs> what? I have a doctorate in den dental surgery, a DDS, okay. and yeah. I have a doctorate in medical sciences in molecular biology. Okay, interesting. Yeah, well, good well, for you. So, I like this stuff. I'm really a nerd. Yeah. So this is your passion. Yes, love it. And, and how big of a problem is gum disease, by the way? Huge problem. Like in San Diego. It's a huge problem. It's the main cause of tooth loss in adults. And a lot of people don't realize they have it, or they think those symptoms of bleeding gums or swollen gums or bad breath, they think that's normal. And the, usually the episodes come and go. So they think, okay, well, it's okay now. I don't, you know, it's gone. But it's, you know, it's chronic. It's a chronic infection. And we, will, we can treat infections. So it's a bacterial infection yes. in the mouth? Yes. We know that it's caused by bacteria. And it's okay to have bacteria in your mouth and your skin. That's normal. We have hundreds of species of bacteria in our mouth. But there are some pathogens or nasty bad bugs. And those can elicit uh, an immune response. And it's the, the bad bugs and your body's immune response, this battle that goes on, that breaks down the bone and the ligament. We want to help your body not fight. If it notice, if it feels like it's at at homeostasis and rest, it won't fight. Okay. Yeah. Now, another thing. One of the things is very interesting on the telephone. We, we were talking on the phone, and uh, you said that people are sent to you for, or or, or their teeth have to be extracted. They're yes. told by another doctor those teeth have to be. And we extracted. can sometimes save teeth. And you've saved. Yeah, like, teeth that every I week would. You save teeth. Yes. Yes, and, and teeth that I would have taken out 10 years ago that I, I can save now, which How? is great. I mean, with the laser. I, I don't get it. I know. Well, um, I mean, that tooth <laughs> has to come out. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the Give issue. Me a simple. Yes, the issue is that it's lost so much attachment that we think, well, it's, there's nothing we can attachment, do. Attachment, what do you mean? The bone? That's the, the bone and the ligament that hold on and grab on to the tooth. Okay. So it's lost that support and we think, well, there's nothing more we can do. Or conventional surgery that we would do, would, would, it just wouldn't work. So we would take them out. But now we can use LANAP and we're saving The teeth. laser uses the laser. Yep. And what's happened? So how does it get stronger? Well, we're killing the bacteria yeah. with the fiber and we're helping the body uh, have an appropriate response, um, a healthy response. And it will attach the bone. The body wants to heal, given the opportunity. So we can do that. And then we need to stabilize their bite, because sometimes their teeth have moved or something like mm -hmm. that. So we stabilize the bite. And the bone can grow back. Is I have that right? Stimulated by the laser? The la yeah, this is special wavelength. Not all lasers. We have x-rays to prove this? We, I do, yeah. Go to my website, Randy, and you'll, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you'll see them. But, you know, not all lasers are the same. So this is a particular wavelength. It's the wavelength. only FDA approved. It is. Okay. And it's a, it's a particular wavelength that the cells really like. This, the cells like this wavelength. The bacteria it kills them, but your cells are stimulated to make more energy. So it's like you're healing like a, a kid again instead of, a you know, 50 year old or whatever your age is. You know, I interviewed dermatologists on my, yes. on my show and they're using lasers to rebuild collagen. Yeah. You know, when they heat the skin, yeah. collagen grows. Is it the, kind of the same thing? Yeah, but it's gums? not just heating the skin. It's that wavelength of light that is, you know, specific. And I, but there's, it's true that light therapy, light science is developing and, and we're learning more and more about what lasers can do. Okay, so you so so if somebody has been told, I sent you somebody by the way. Yes. I said before they yank out that tooth, you yes. have to go see her. Right. Do you think you're gonna save that tooth? 
Um, there are a number of them, and I don't know if I can tell you because okay. of confidentiality. Oh, brother. But uh, there are a lot of things I hopeful. think we could do. Yeah, there are things we can do. So if, you, if somebody's been told that their teeth have to go or you some teeth have to go, you should see me. You, should, you need to see. give me a call and come on in and let me see what I can do because okay. it's remarkable. And I'm, especially the people with bad breath, bleeding gums, right. things like that. Now, right. this is the part, and this is what I like about the Wellness Hour, by the way, yeah. that sometimes we get some breakthroughs on the show, and I think this is one of them. Okay. Traditionally, if you have gum disease, like periodontal pocketing, right. the, 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 the teeth start getting loose, and right. you have this chronic infection, there's two approaches. Right. The traditional approach and the way you do it. So yes. please explain that. Let me explain a little bit about the pocket, okay, if I can. Um, it's normal to have a little space around the teeth, and the, the bugs that like to grow in that normal, healthy, shallow space are, are okay with us, actually good for us. Okay. When the disease starts, um, that attachment is lost and the depth becomes deeper and it, it becomes a pocket. And the pocket is something that you can't clean at home. Sometimes you, your hygienist can't clean it. So um, that's when we need to intervene. Traditionally, with conventional surgery for periodontal disease, there are really two things that we could do. Uh, one is uh, resective surgery, where an incision is made around the teeth, the gums are peeled back away from the bone, we clean the teeth, sometimes uh, smooth over the bone so that it, it lays, the tissue lays down and we suture that. That's with resective. Stitches. With stitches. With stitches. And that's resective. The problem is with, that done anymore? Yes, it's done. Like thousands yes. a day maybe yeah, in San Diego? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, you know, I don't know about San Diego, but I know it's been done throughout the country. Okay. Um, and it's, and that's But there's resective. hundreds a day that are... Oh, absolutely. ...surgeries that are being yes. done today that could be treated with your laser. Right, okay. right. Now, the problem with resective surgery is um, patients don't like that the spaces between the teeth are greater. There's more space, like actual air and, you know, more, more space between the teeth. So I know I'm following you correctly. Yes. Okay, so traditionally, let's say... For that periodontal pocketing, yes, they may trim the gums a little bit. Is yeah, that correct? they do. They can. And you're trim left it. with S more space between the teeth and more sensitive teeth. Sensitive. What do you mean by that? Temperature, hot and cold. They, um, you know, it's very uncomfortable sometimes. Um, and they sometimes are longer then, and they they don't look as good. Patients. The teeth look longer. Yes. Interesting. Now that that's resective. Then there's regenerative surgery, and and we develop that as a profession to try to counteract these problems. And incisions made around the teeth, the tissues peeled back or reflected, we like to say, back from the gum, okay. the bone, and then we clean the teeth. And then those little troughs that are caused by the infection, mm -hmm. we might put bone grafts in or membranes, stitch everything up, and hope the bone grows. Sometimes it does. That's being done as well throughout the country. But the problem is still stitches, which people tend not to like. And there's more recession than I was happy with. So I looked for an alternative. And I wanted to find a minimally invasive treatment. Because as a periodontist, this is your training. Yes. So to get rid of it with surgery. Yes, resective or regenerative okay. both. But I still had more recession than I was happy with. So with Lanap, we have the least amount of recession where we use, because the fiber is so delicate, we can remove as little as po uh, possible just the tissue that's inflamed and infected in the pocket and not the tissue outside of the pocket. So we and we can grow bone. It's just remarkable. So downtime compared to surgery is it's completely It's much different. less, much what less. What about pain? Much less. Yeah, everyone's different. Do you some know. people not complain about pain at all? Some people do not complain at all. Some people don't need any medication. But I, you know, I never know, and everyone has a different pain threshold, so I'll offer that if they now, need it. Yeah, I did some research on this topic, and, 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 and I was going to say you, but the people that went through your training yes. have these buttons made right. that say, what, what is it? No, no cut, no sew. No cut, right. no, no sew. sew. That's, so no more cutting the gum disease out. Yeah, we use a, a fiber. And yeah. you use a laser. It's an incision. I mean, logically, it makes sense to me. Yes, it's great. What about for prevention? Because I think we talked on the phone. Right. I said, I'd love to go down there. Because yep. I've been told, like, uh -huh. I don't even know what it means, two, three millimeter pockets or right. something. But could I go in, you go around, disinfect yes. the area with a laser? Yes. Is that the future of dentistry? I think so. But let me just um, 
maybe clarify something. It's not the same thing. Uh, LANAP is surgery, and we're using the fiber to make an incision, a very okay. uh, uh, minimally invasive incision. But what you're talking about, it, we use the laser, but on different settings, because okay. we don't need to do surgery. We can maybe just disinfect the pocket. So it's a little bit different. We want to do the right thing for the right okay. indication. Now for this uh, LANAP protocol, this laser to get rid of gum disease. And by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about no more bleeding gums, loose teeth, bad breath, puffy red gums, uh, in many cases could be eliminated mm -hmm. with this laser. With LANAP. You brought a video. What are we gonna look at in this video? Yes, well, it's a little cartoon video about the procedure, so people understand what we're doing during our, our appointment. The fiber optic tip is gently placed at the top of the periodontal pocket to begin removal of disease tissue that lines the pocket. This is where bacteria live and build a neighborhood of its own that destroys healthy gum tissue and bone that holds your teeth in their proper position. There are specific germs and bacteria that cause gum disease. The Periolase laser is designed to target and eliminate selectively only the diseased tissue and germs dissolving toxins and leaving the healthy tissue unharmed. The laser tip is then removed from the pocket and set aside. In the next step of the procedure, ultrasonic cleaners as small as a laser fiber tip are used to remove the hard deposits we call tartar or calculus from the top of the teeth and roots. These instruments use sound waves to vibrate and break apart the hard mineral calcium deposits with water flushing away the debris and cooling the instrument tip. Some hand cleaning instruments may be used at this time to remove any remaining hard calcium deposits. Then the laser is used again at the bottom of the pocket to remove any remaining diseased tissue. This pass of the laser also sterilizes the tissue and bone and completely eliminates the bad bacteria, germs, and toxins. It also stimulates the formation of a blood clot, which once formed contains fibers that reattach your tissue to the tooth surface and seal out debris and bacteria like stitches would and creates the right environment to cause the bone and other soft tissues lost from the disease to grow back. It's very nice. Yeah, it's, it is. So that's what it is. Right. It, it's, it's, it's nice, too, to show the patient what we're doing. And what we're doing clinically is we're using this fiber, which is smaller than the diameter of the probe I used to do the exam. It's very delicate. And we use it in the pocket. And I think of painting the pocket. We're painting the inside of the pocket, killing the bacteria, removing the tissue that's inflamed and infected, cleaning everything. Of course, that's very important to allow the tissue to heal again and the bone to grow. Now, does it cost more to go to a periodontist, a board-certified periodontist, a specialist? Well, I, it, should, it shouldn't. It doesn't have to. It depends on what we're doing. But what I, what, one thing I've noticed in my practice is when I was doing GTR, which is guided tissue regeneration, the, the uh, surgical approach to try to grow bone around teeth with conventional surgery, mm -hmm. we had to use bone grafts and membranes and materials. And now with the LANAP protocol, I don't have to do that. So The bone kind of grows. Without adding okay. any bone so or any membrane. So with this gum disease, let me get this straight. Yes. The, the bone kind of goes away and the tooth moves up and gets loose. Yes, with the disease, And yes. you're saying when you hit it with the laser, the bone is stimulated, the gums kind of grab on, after you clean the area, right. the gums we grab clean. onto the tooth again. Right, it, they do. They do and they can. And what's important, and you saw that in the video, is the little fibrin clot mm -hmm. that's formed around the tooth. That's like nature's own membrane. Remember I was telling you that we used to use membranes to try to grow bone? Okay. But now we can... I don't remember can... you telling me that. Oh, I did, just a <laughs> few kidding. minutes ago. Oh, God, but so... I don't remember. <laughs> Okay. okay, so anyway, the body, we can, um, we can use the body's membrane to keep the area sealed. Wounds need to so be sealed. So is it less expensive it in does, some cases? That means with all it the, can be, bone, the traditional it can surgeries be, and bone in, grafting. Yeah, in and, my office, it's less expensive. So of the procedures, and, right. and you know, thousands of the surgical procedures to get rid of gum disease yes. are happening in San Diego. I'm going to yes. put you on the spot here. Okay. What percentage of those do you think, if they saw you with a laser, right. they would need that? Well, Certain most procedure. of them, most of them. I used eighty percent or so. More than that, probably. Okay. I mean, I used to do, and I'm a, I'm a, I don't know. We want to think of kind of a cutting edge periodontist. I've always tried to keep current and offer my patients what everything that we have to offer, and. I haven't done a GTR procedure. What since. does that mean, GTR? Oh, guided tissue regeneration is the surgical procedure. Is a surgical procedure to grow bone okay. in these defects, and we use membranes and bone grafts to try to grow bone. And I haven't had to do that since 2009. And on X-ray, okay, I have to tell you this. I'm going to put you on the spot one more time. Yeah. 
spoke to a dentist. Yeah. Told him you were coming in. Okay. I, I mentioned the bone thing. He got pretty riled up. He said, not true. Yeah, well, that laser is not growing bone. I'm sorry to disagree respectfully with him because it so there is. Are, is there pu- I guess you have we your have, own journals and we things. We do. We have is human histology. Published? I mean, you can't argue with human histology. That means somebody's tooth and bone is taken out and sliced and looked at under a microscope. We have human histology that we are growing bone and ligament and real regeneration. I, you know, I spoke to another person that's a yeah. fan of this, uh, Dr. Brown. In, yes. Uh, Heads up the periodontal program at, 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 at uh, Temple. Temple and right. also Albert Einstein. And he said, he goes, Randy, it, I never do it you know, for periodontal pocketing. I yeah. don't do it the other way. The old way. The I old don't, way. I don't he said do he hasn't it. done it in three years. Right. So the public, you, you, they just don't know they have an option, right? Because uh, the way yeah. it works is. That's, that's why I agreed to talk with you, because they do have an option. They, and and it's, it's wonderful what we can do. I get excited about it. You do get excited. I do. What do patients say when it's all done? Well, they're they're so I see the I see them come in for their hygiene appointments and they look happy. They're smiling, where many of them hadn't been smiling before. Um, one patient in particular, I'm thinking of, she feels so healthy. She says her teeth feel tighter um, because they're 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 healthier, and she's enjoying life like she's going out with her friends for lunch, which she had avoided. She likes to go on date night with her husband now and go to restaurants, which she had avoided. So it's really improving her social life. And she didn't even realize she was avoiding these things because her mouth was sore and she didn't feel comfortable eating in public. So that's wow. really, oh, it's wonderful. It's so exciting. So all the time you hear stuff like that. Is I this do. the happiest? I mean, has your job as a periodontist changed because of this? Yes, it is. I mean, as far as more pleasurable to do yeah, well, it? Yeah, well, it is. doesn't seem very glamorous. Well, and I do love what I do. <laughs> And I do a lot of things besides Lenap, although Lenap is uh, so exciting. That's the laser. That right. Lenap, the okay. la- laser, uh, it's, a, it's the um, protocol using this laser to treat okay. gum disease. But, um, yeah, I get excited about it. I mean, I have patients that it, re- it affects their breath. If you don't have nice breath, it really affects you socially. It, it, it can affect your career. I mean, it really, people don't realize. So what that bad be. breath is what? So under it the gum line, there's be. like... It can be... Like you um, call them bad bugs? Yeah, there? the bacteria release, you know, compounds that can have foul odors. So it can be that. And when, when they're healthier, they have better, better breath. And, um, you know, and then they're more, they can eat well and they're more social. And I love that. Can I tell you another story? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Well, I had a patient, I have to tell you, I had a patient um, in the chair and she had a number of problems, but this one particular tooth, I thought it was just too late. And there are teeth that it's too late and we have to lose them. You have to pull them. Yes, we do. It happens. This is a tough disease to treat. So I I see this tooth and I don't want to make her come back, go through another procedure. So I think I'll just take it out right there while she's numb. And I called her dentist in the middle of the procedure. I get up, I call the dentist, and I say, you know, I think I need to take this tooth out. And he said, yeah, whatever you think, I trust you, whatever you need to do. So I go back and I tell her, you know, I'm sorry, but this particular tooth, we should just save you an appointment and take it out now. And she said, no. And I'm not used to people telling me no. Okay. So so she says, no, I finish the procedure. We go through the post-ops and she goes to her dentist and sees him and I kind of forgot about her. So you lasered her that I day? I did. I okay. did the whole lanap. The dentist... Even I, though you were going to pull the tooth. I was re- did I it anyway. I would have pulled the tooth. And so the dentist, I ran into him at a meeting and he said, you know that patient? She still has that tooth. I'm, and I was surprised. I mean, that's so exciting when the procedure is so successful. It even um, outperforms my expectations. So do, do, do your uh, I guess periodontists. Yes. They're the gum specialists. Right. Somewhat divided on this. Yes. Right. Because you have to learn More brand new things. It's not as easy <laughs> as that video looks. I bet. Yeah. It's probably no, it's not. Work. And it takes. You know, we're used to doing what we do and and pretty successful at what we do. So you know, if it so works. So what do you tell your friends, your colleagues? Well, um, that are I, saying. I mean, do they ask you? Does it really work? No, they don't ask. I tell them though, 
And so, so they, they seem to be happy with what they're doing. Now, a number of them have started to do the Lanap protocol, and now they see what I've been talking about. But de dentists are pretty conservative, and periodontists are conservative, and don't like to change things uh, if they don't. But you say not all lasers are created equal. That's so true. So and that, they might have had a bad experience, or they might have you know, seen results in literature that we're using a different laser. And so they have this image in their mind that it doesn't work. But you have to n compare apples to apples. So a patient watching this, they right. have, you know, these symptoms. So they've right. been told the tooth has to go. Right. What is, uh, what's that consultation like? And well, they, they should give ask? us a call and th they come in and we will do everything we can to get records. We need to see some records. I do my exam, which is you know, with that little probe you've probably seen where we measure all the way around all the teeth. I've never seen it. You have Well, because seen when I'm in the chair, you don't see it. Well, we have an instrument called a probe, and we right. measure the attachment the patients around don't all see the that. They may or some of them do. But that's okay. regardless of whether you know it or not. We okay. use a probe, and it measures in millimeters. We go all the way around the, t the teeth, and we look at x-rays, and we, we uh, I give a diagnosis. and so we decide. tell them right there. Yeah, we can decide what treatment's right for them, and if Lanap is right for them, of course, we can bring that up. And um, and my motto, okay. do you want to hear my I'm motto? The, I, yes, I do. So I, I my motto is that I'm saving the world one millimeter at a time. One millimeter <laughs> at a time. And what does that mean, by the way? It's just my pro, which is how we measure. We measure everything in millimeters in periodontics. So the teeth become tight, and yes. they can eat, and they can chew. They're comfortable. They can eat normal food. They can go out with their friends, their husband, go on a date. People, some of my patients have started dating. I mean, they because feel, of well, they, it breath. started a whole, you know, transition in them where they're taking care of themselves and, you know, feeling good and want to get out there. Let me ask you a question because, you know, I interview a lot of medical doctors, sure. uh, integrated medicine doctors. If this is a bacterial infection, yes. when you get rid of a bacterial infection in the rest of the body, you feel right. better and have more right. energy. Do you see these type of things happening? Yeah, well, it's taxing to your body to have an infection. And this is a, usually a chronic infection that people even become comfortable with, like it's normal to them, and it, and it shouldn't be. So, and I've seen that with my own patients where we've gone through the process, and they feel better. They just feel Good. better. They, they have more energy. So we're out of time. Okay. Great stuff, by Thank the way. You. Somebody watching this, they right. have the symptoms. They've been told they have gum disease. Right. They want to avoid surgery. Maybe right. they've been told a tooth has to be pulled out. I, I invite them to come in, give us a call, let me evaluate you and see what we can do for you. It All might right. be an alternative. Good. And they can go to your website. You yes, I have there. a website. And I want to thank you for coming on the show. Well, it's my pleasure. Refreshing. It was very, very good. Thank good. you so much. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online or direct a friend to it, uh, you just go to wellnesshour.com and put in gum disease or put in Dr. Kenya. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.